ClickUp project management tutorial. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use ClickUp to manage your project. So let's get into it. Now, first off, ClickUp is available for free and they allow you 100 megabytes of storage, unlimited tasks and members, collaborative documents, native time tracking in the free version of ClickUp. And we're gonna be using the free version of ClickUp today for this tutorial, but with time, obviously, and your needs, you can upgrade to their unlimited business or business plus version. So first off, what you're going to do do is just click on sign up over here you're going to enter your email and get started with ClickUp. i already have a account on ClickUp, so i'm just going to log in and i'm going to start off with a empty workspace just to navigate through with you guys on how to set up your ClickUp account uh, step by step so ClickUp provides you with a lot of different templates and ClickUp provides you with separate workspaces so if you click over here you're going to see different workspaces and you can separate your work if you have a uh, different work for school if you have a different work for your business if you have a different side hustle you can separate those things very much iron fist with this separate workspace option so i'm just going to click on add workspace and this is what your welcome account is going to be look like it's going to be looking like because clickup is going to ask you to name your workspace so we're going to name this sample one or we can just name this as side hustle. We're gonna click on next. Now I'm going to select a color for my workspace and you can add a image as well, but I'm gonna just continue. You can add how many people you're gonna be working with. You can invite people to your workspace or you can skip that. And then you can enable different click apps. So depending on what your business needs are, you can enable and disable these. I would suggest you disable everything first you read through all of these click apps and then you only add the ones that you need. And don't worry, you can always add more as you go. You don't have to worry about not adding them later on. You can add them later on. But for this sample, let's just set this at all of these because I'm going to show you guys how to use all of these functionalities. So I'm going to continue with all of them. But for you, don't make sure you disable the ones you don't need and only keep the ones you're actually going to be using and later on add what you need. Now you can also integrate any of these apps that you already are using, but we're going to continue and we're going to start with our ClickUp workspace. Now, once your workspace has been created, you can see it's going to be empty like this. If you take a look at your left, you have your home section. Below that, you have your notifications. If you click on show more, you have this pulse section and the pulse section is basically to track time. So how many users are active at what time? You can monitor that over here and this is best if you are working on hourly basis. If you're getting paid by hours, you can easily monitor and get some time estimates and time sheets using the pulse section on ClickUp. Now you can even hide and show guests and see if what kind of guests are viewing your ClickUp workspace right now. Below that you have your goals and goals are something you have to add manually on ClickUp. You can't have automated goals. You add them by yourself. Now below that you have your favorite section. So the favorite section is a section where you pin anything that you are constantly accessing. You can pin a board, a list, a workspace, anything of your heart's desire. Now below that is your actual workspace. So we just created this workspace and it's called everything. Now within that workspace, we can create different spaces. So first off, if we want to create a new space within our section, we're gonna click on new space and you can use a template to get started as well. But templates can be a bit confusing to navigate through at the start. So I'm gonna continue with a empty workspace and show you guys how to use the basic functions of ClickUp. So let's just say that this is our side hustle and we are doing product hunting. So I'm going to add a space called product hunting and everything related to product hunting is going to be placed over here. I'm going to add this orange color. I'm going to continue with next and I want everyone to be able to access this and I want Kanban. Let's say we're going to do a custom template. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the active statuses. So first off, we have renaming it to ideas. Then we're going to add a second status called approved ideas and we're going to have changes needed then you can add a status called changed or edited and we can have approved so uh, the approved section you can also delete from here and add it to a complete status so you can add a basic completed status or you can rename it into approved and then you can even add more completed status on premium versions but you can only add one on the free version so we're going to click on next now we're going to add and enable our click apps so i'm going to enable all of this stuff and i'm going to click on next 
Now you can add what kind of basic views that you want. I want a list view, a board view, but I also want a timeline view and a Gantt view. So I'm going to click on review space and now you can see all of your basic details and I'm going to click on create space. So this is how you create your first workspace and you can see over here we have our list and our list is only of ideas. Now you can add more lists as well. Now if you click over here this is what is present in our first list if you click over here at these three dots you can duplicate your list as well you can archive a list once it has been completed and you can view different automations within your list as well so if you want to add a new list to a already existing workspace so i want a another list in my product hunting workspace what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this section over here and i'm going to click on new list and i can name it posted product so first off we have list number one and i'm going to rename this what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on list info and I'm going to just rename it into product search. So our product search list and our posted products list is separate but if we click on product hunting all together we can view both of these at the same time. Now within our posted products we can remove and add different statuses so you can regroup them and manage your statuses so if you click on custom you can add different statuses or you can even add any of the uh, existing statuses to your workspace but I'm going to to use a, a normal status of open in progress and closed for my uh, posted products list to add tasks you can add them directly from here or you can click on task at the bottom right and then add a task let's just say product adf like this and then you can add a description you can assign it or the person that is creating this can assign this to a certain person and then they can drag and drop files you can also add a set due date for when this product research needs to be completed and then you can even add tags so i haven't created any tags but you can add urgent tags you can add any kind of specific task you want you can also estimate the time it should take to complete this after that you can even apply a few templates and view the dependencies so if this is a task that depends on multiple people you can add them from here after that you just click on create task and now you can see our task has been created if you want to change the priority you can do that as well so let's just say this is an urgent priority and it is due on the 12th of november now you can add more information about your task as well if you just click on this column and you can add any kind of other information that needs to be displayed on your basic workspace or work area let's say if you want a label to be displayed and you can name this as status and now you can add different statuses i just added this as a sample status so this is how you create your workspace and make a basic board and within that board you make your different lists and tasks within that this is your workspace setting now there are many other settings available on clickup so you can see over here here I have another workspace. So this is my he he workspace where I have my student notes and class assignments, which is totally separated from my basic space over here that is for my side hustle. And I cannot transfer any data between this and my side hustle. So that is something to keep in mind when you're making different workspaces. And for each of your workspaces, you have different settings. So if you want to check out your settings, you can go over here. And then over here, you can add your time tracking app, you can add a Slack integration, and you can can even click on calendar over here and add your google calendar to your basic workspace so this is just a basic overview of how clickup works i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to set up your own clickup account and start managing your project make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next video